I'm Nicole from Move America and today I'm here with Raven Hernandez who is the CEO of Earthride. Well thank you so much for joining us today we're really excited to have you here to talk to you. Um, so first of all tell us a little bit about Earth and where the idea came from because obviously you're a young woman who's created this company that's launched this company where did it come from? Yeah, I was, and thanks for having me, Nicole. Um, finishing law school in California, uh, originally from Nashville, went, you know, went west for law school and was looking at LAX one day and just thought, oh my God, the pollution here is, is it's insane. And I had become really passionate about my health, about buying like quality food, quality, even clothing. And so then to look at LAX and think, well, what does all that matter if my earth is polluted? And so Earth Rides was born out of the, the mission to accelerate the adoption of clean technology. And we're doing that through electrifying rideshare. Amazing. And so what makes um, Earth Ride different from other mobility companies? Absolutely. You know, on, on a surface level, it's just all electric. Um, of course, that is a bit unique in the sense of um, no gas and no hybrid. But we originally launched the company with just uh, W-2 employee drivers. And so you, di you didn't have to be 1099. You didn't have to drive your own vehicle. Since that, we've expanded. And what's really going to become our, our big differentiator is the fintech tools that we're building for drivers. And I won't get in, into it too much, but you know we're excited to be pouring into drivers and putting our resources towards making sure that the gig economy can become electrified. Amazing. And I can imagine everyone loves riding around in Teslas, but um, what's the demographic for the for your ride shares? Who is using it? And um, how do you plan on getting everyone using it? Yeah, well, you know, I think that's an interesting point, uh, you know, to kind of not necessarily disagree with, but we don't need everyone. Right. And I think that's important. And, you know, you're in the mobility space and in micro mobility that all plays a part, right? We shouldn't always just run to rideshare because it's the easiest option. Uh, and quite frankly, it shouldn't be the cheapest because drivers need to make fair living wages as well. Um, our demographic tends to be um, a little bit older in the sense of 25 to 50, give or take. They're not going from bar to bar to bar. Uh, we're not the cheapest option and we're not the fastest option. And that's something I'm personally proud of because it means that we can make money on our rides where we've found others might have a difficult time doing so because they want to be everything to everybody. Uh, and you can't have a cheap ride and pay your drivers fairly. So, you know, our demographic is, is booking rides. Uh, they're, they're mindful about how they travel, about when to book, when to walk, when to bike, when to take the bus. Uh, so I like to think that, you know, our riders are a bit more mindful. They're not necessarily eco warriors. Uh, so they don't care as much about the planet as, you know, maybe um, someone who brought up, you know, a Prius in 2012, but they're open to it, right? They're, they're, they're being exposed to something new and it's opening their, their perspective of like what's possible for them. No, I totally agree with you. So electric vehicles are a key part of your business growing. And um, so how do you plan to get more uh, gig workers um, into EVs affordably? Yeah, and that's really what we're focused on right now. You know, one in three Americans participate in the gig economy and over one, one billion people across the world. So there's a lot of people um, in this space and they're the ones that should be driving electric from the get, really. They're putting three times as many miles on as, you know, you or I do that work in an office or um, work in retail or something of that nature. And so it's imperative that we're electrifying this sector first. Of course, um, that's not the case. It was, you know, more affluent people who were um, financially able to purchase EVs, but it's starting to come down, right? We're starting to see MSRPs be around 40 and under that are affordable. And so now it comes to, okay, how do we set up drivers for success financially? How do we build tools that um, work with them in order to pay their notes uh, on time? And that's really what we're focused on right now. Amazing. And so where do you see the mobility industry going in the next 12 to 18 months? What do you think is going to be the next big trends and the next big things? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm by no means an analyst, <laughs> but just what I've heard, um, you know, I think there is going to be a little bit of, a, of you know, uh, spending kind of tighten up, which is going to directly impact the economy. Um, I think that people are still going to continue to, you know, use their Instacart, their Postmates, their Grubhub, their Uber, their Lyft, their Earth. Um, but now the question is, 
is the gig economy going to survive based on what they've been currently making? Those are some of the themes that I think we're going to see um, finally, you know, come up and, and bubble up. And it, it, it'll be tough for some, but I'm, I'm hopeful. And I, and I really want to stress that, you know, just because you're paying an exorbitant price for your ride doesn't always mean your driver is getting that. So we need to advocate for those transparent payouts and, and really be on the team driver because they're the ones giving us, you know, hopefully great service. Amazing. And um, so lastly, uh, is this your first time at Move America? No, I was able to speak last year. In, oh, in Austin. Yeah, yeah. So we launched um, our Austin operations right around the time Move um, uh, came and, sp- and did their Austin. So I'm happy to be back. We made so many good friends that have been um, really impactful, actually, in our company life cycle, uh, whether it be from raising or making new connections. So love move and we're happy to be back and excited to make new friends. Yeah. So I can imagine it's very nice to be in person this year because I know last year it wasn't. But um, so what can we expect to hear from you this year? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, you know, same, some of the same themes that we've talked about today, right? It's, it's electrifying the gig economy. It's the future of how we take care of our drivers. Um, a little bit of skepticism, uh, you know, here and there it's tr- trickled in and uh, talking about all things electric. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. It was lovely to hear from you. And we're very excited to see you in America. Yeah, see you in Austin.